No one talked. Everyone just sort of sat down and <laughs> examined each other. Good times, good times. Oh wow, I've never seen this. What's going on? I think I think I have seen this. Reminds me of Final Fantasy XII. Mm. It has been 15 years, but the bitter taste of defeat lingers still. 15 years since the Imperial fleet set course for Mordona, led by the Agrios, mightiest of all vessels. Silver Till Lake lay ripe for the taking, and all of Eorzea would soon be ours. Or so we believed. But an innumerable host of dragons met us that day, at the heart of which flew the great Meat Guard Zormer. Though we succeeded in slaying that lord among worms, the Dread Serpent's defeat was bought at too high a price. Our invincible flagship was lost, and all hope of victory with her so ended our glorious conquest. Eorzea, a blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning. Rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We are of one mind, Lord Van Balzar. Like a creature? Looks like a creature. Senior engineers, please report to Magitech research following scheduled inspection. Hey, is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at the Orsia? Hey? What hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartina. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus's plan. My, my lord! Please, call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Otho, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume? I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. Uh, uh. What did he... what did he do? <laughs> 
clean up this mess, and do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. It's only one person there. At, 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 at once, my lord. <laughs> Garland, soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitek. That guy didn't really do anything. Are we going to try to fight them again? Kill him! Okay, that that was like a long loading screen. Yeah, I like the cutscenes. I know a lot of uh, American gamers really want voice acting in video games. I mean, as you can see, I enjoy reading, even though I'm definitely a bit lax on reading in this game. Even if people do watch this. Um, I guess voice acting wouldn't be bad. It just it, def it definitely probably costs a lot of money for them to do so. But. Ah, you must be the unborn from the Gridania. From Gridania. <laughs> Welcome to Limsa Luminsa. Limsa, my lord. Admiral. Oh my gosh, these names here. Blow blows his fin awaits your arrival. <laughs> Blowfiswin. X pony. Form in P4, okay. I'm Bloefiswin. Bloefiswin. I don't know. That seems uh, pretty close. Bloefiswin. 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 These names. I don't know if the. Uh, I don't know if the uh, Udon, Ud, Udon names. Udonian names or Udon name, or names are worse. Or. Blam. Blamhas. Storm Honor God Guard. Look at the outfits, cool, right? It's, I like those colors. You are the Gridanian envoy. Welcome to Limsalo Minsa. Think I'll be Gridanian though. The Admiral has been looking forward to your arrival. Please proceed to the Crow's Lift at your earliest convenience. It will take you to Bulwark Hall. Once there, pray speak with Xanthio. Xanthio, he will be pleased to show you into the Admiral's command room on the bridge. Oh, already lost. Are they like AFK? <laughs> that reminds me a lot of... Uh, okay. Oh my gosh. Present Kane Summons Missive to Xanthio at Boardwalk Hall. Okay. Glad we have that for dummies. Or for... for Cause I was just a dummy right there. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know where the hell to go. I like this music too. It still has um, like the little tune right there. Dun, 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 dun. No, it doesn't. It does remind me of uh, of carto cartino music uh, from uh, not cartino, and that sounds really familiar. Of uh, Kazam music, somewhat. Eh, that much though. Greetings, sir, and welcome to our fair city. If you will permit me to examine the seal of the missive you carry, is this the right one? Yeah. Yes, everything seems to be in order. My apologies. We cannot afford to be complacent. You understand. Please, step this way. Zantheo. Zantheo. Zantheo! Enter! I did not expect the Gridanian envoy to be an adventurer. 
It speaks highly of your character that the Elder Seedseer would choose an outsider to represent her nation's interests. Yes, yes, yes. This way. I bid you welcome. I am Melvi Blufisvin, Admiral of Limso Lominsa, and Commander of the Maelstrom. Okay, she just said it. I said Mel Vip. Mel Vip Blufus Win. Mel Vip. Is that a V? Or two Vs? Um, Mel Vip. Mel Vip Blufus Win. Blufus Win. Maybe the Ws are like Vs. Admiral of Limsalominsa. Now, what news from the Black Shroud? Blufus Win. Hmm, a memorial service to honor the fallen. She talks so weird, so. And I'm always half sleep. And I'm... Seven hells. Has it been five years? Five years since the Garlean Empire sought to wrest Eorzea from our grasp. It was an answer to the imperial threat that the city states formed the Grand Companies and forced the Eorzean Alliance anew. But Garlamade was not content to wager all in all on a simple contest of martial might. They had other plans. The Meteor Project. Oh my eye. Excuse me. Okay. Legatus Nail Van Darnus. Hells take him, intended to cleanse our realm by snatching the lesser moon Dolomud from the heavens and casting it down upon our heads. Desperate to prevent this lunatic scheme, we marched our forces to Cartano. <laughs> Cartano. Yeah, that must have been in my head when I said that. Cartano Flats. I meant Kazam. That's a zone in a... Anyway, or a city. Flats. And there must... And there met the Vlith... The Vith Imperial Legion of Battle. Oh, the seventh. Man, I'm like, I'm on my couch and I'm pretty far away. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> never has I, never have I seen a fight like the Battle of Cartino, and I have seen full many, full many. But though we have no quarter, spared not one ounce, ounce of an effort, we could not prevent what I, what followed. From inside the shell of Dolomud came a winged nightmare, a dragon the size of a bloody city. Twas the elder primal Bahamut, bent on making an eighth hell of Eorzea. In the space of breath, the legions of the empire of a breath, <laughs> the legions of the empire were set aflame, while our armies fared little better. Twas as if the whole world was burning. Words cannot call, cannot well describe the scene. And yet, by some miracle, a few among us were spared. Even as I steeled myself for death, a blinding white light enveloped me, robbing me of my senses. When I regained them, the dragon was gone, and the still smoldering wind was wrapped beyond all known, warped beyond all. Were Archeon Luswa still with us, he would doubtless shed some light on this unfathomable happenings. These. Alas, he is not, and I fear we will want for his wisdom in the days to come. That must be the old man. For while our nation struggled to recover from the devastation, the beast men called forth their damned primals to torment us anew. Unless we put aside our differences, and rebuild now, our foes will catch us unprepared. And I speak not only of the beastmen. Do not imagine that the Empire has forsaken its calm on the Eorzea. E Eorzea. <laughs> the Imperials crowd our borders waiting to strike. Crowd our borders waiting to strike. Damn it all, we need champions to replace those we lost. But such thoughts were worse than worthless. Time is short, and none will save us, save ourselves. What? 
It is the it is the duty of every soul who survived the calamity to work together for the good of Eorzea. And this memorial service may be the very thing to unite us. I, Kane Sama has the right of it. I accept her proposal. Scribble, scribble. You got Hulk over there? No, no, not Hulk. What's his name? Ah. The blue guy from X-Men. The blue Wolverine looking guy. But he's not blue, but he just sort of looks like him. Okay. Your duty is done here, adventurer. I will see to it that the Elder Seeds here receives my reply. You travel next to Uda, yes? Yes. Hi. Pray give my regards to General Robon. Robon. Oh, and tell him the wolf has been sniffling around the stables. A private jest and one in poor taste. But I would have you tell it all the same. The wolf has been sniffling around the stables. What? What's it sniffling for? Shit or something? <laughs> Fare you well, my. May the navigator guide you on your journey. Shorter than I thought it would be. So let's see if I can go back in there. Ride the ride live to the airship landing. Yes, please. I think I could get there and then I'll have to. Since I think the file size has been larger since I uh, fixed the graphic settings or whatever. Chit chatters. There's one cool fight that you fight here in Uda. It's actually pretty nice by uh, Square Enix to do that. Greetings, sir. This is the counter for passengers traveling to Uda. A pleasure to serve you again, sir. Are you ready to board the airship to Uda? Hi. Bid you farewell. So is this like a magic thing or? Oh no, I think I see. Still looks like probably like Magitech or whatever. How dare I question the functionality of an airship, of a Final Fantasy airship. So yeah, let's go inside. Ah, you must be the envoy from Gridania. Welcome to Oda, sir. The Flame General awaits your arrival. Whatever. Is it you? Welcome to Uda, sir. We have been expecting you. Flame General Robin will receive you in the fragrant chamber. Please take the lift down to the hustling strip and speak with Bartholomew at the Royal Promenade.
I think I got lost. I got lost here before I got lost in Limsa Luminsa. I don't know why. This doesn't seem like a place to get lost. Well, it's pretty big on the, the circular part. Look, man, you can't operate the lift. You can't even reach whatever button you... Oh, no, yeah, you can. It's, like, right there. I don't know if he can even reach that. Look, hold on. Yeah, here's the deal. He could probably... Don't look at me, man. I'm talking about you. <laughs> he could probably reach it. But it's, it's definitely a struggle. That's got to be a struggle for him to reach that. Does he have, like, a stick or something? You cannot reach that. You're not a good lift attendant, okay? You're not a good lift attendant. I always say we do an animation if I'm trying to reach that. You can't reach that, man. <laughs> Little guy. <laughs> at least he, at least he has a sword. <laughs> But he would probably cut the rope every time. It's just like he has a pretty uh, elite sword there. I do like this place though. The enter, the enter part. These, all these little guards. They're so cute. You're not. Oh wait, should I attune to the shard? One shard down. Probably could have got one in Limsa Lumiza as well. Being here means that I'm that much closer to getting my die quest done. And that'll make me really happy. It used to be really laggy in here. It was once really, really laggy. What do you what do you say? What business would what would <laughs> she's got what business? Oh, I missed it. Come on, say it again. Let's do that. She only said it once. What business would her grace have with the likes of you? You'd be surprised. I wonder if it changes. I wonder if what she says changes. As you get, you know, become more renowned or whatever. Okay, I'll log off in front of her and upload, or not upload, but uh, render this.